Hello, my name is Mark John Brown. I live in Leith in Edinburgh with my uh, my wife and my daughter. Um, I had emigrated to Peru, to my wife's native Peru, before lockdown happened. And I was laying down the foundations uh, for my wife and my daughter to come over and join me in Peru. Um, but then lockdown happened. I went to visit a family in the Amazon jungle, um, Pucalpa, to be specific. And only two hours after I arrived at their home in the Amazon jungle, lockdown happened. State of emergency in Peru happened. And I was in lockdown in the Amazon jungle for two weeks. And after those two weeks, within those two weeks, um, I found out that my wife was pregnant with our second baby. And I also found out that there were repatriation flights available from Lima to uh, London um, that would get me back into the UK, repatriated to be beside my wife and my daughter. So I decided to um, get myself to Lima and I had to, um, I was plugged into a group of 17 of us, all stranded Brits in the city of Pucalpa in the Peruvian Amazon jungle. And together with another two members of the group, we made a leadership team and uh, got all 17 of us on the flight on a, on a private, privately chartered um, flight from the Amazon jungle to the capital of Lima. And uh, by the skin of our teeth, we made it onto the re repatriation flight after having um, embassy officials and UK military uh, delay the flight by about three hours just so that we could make it onto the flight. And I came back and my life changed. Uh, I was not expecting to be back in Edinburgh, of course. I was over there emigrating and laying the foundations for uh, my wife and my daughter to come and join me. But everything was on pause, put on pause. And, of course, the rhythm of life changed dramatically for me. Um, everything slowed right down. And from the vastness of the Amazon jungle, um, I was dropped into a uh, dense apartment block in Leith in, in Edinburgh, uh, living in very close confined quarters, w quarters with my wife and my daughter, my now pregnant wife. Um, and yeah, it was very challenging to adapt at first. My, my mind um, was very much still in jungle mode, but um, when I came back, um, you know, uh, structure, planning, um, having a timetable, all of these things, having uh, daily practices that, that help me kind of um, keep that structure and um, keep my sanity, uh, for want of a better way of saying it, it really, really helped. And um, in many ways for me, lockdown has been a blessing in disguise because it's been it's, it's brought about a whole reordering of my priorities in life, really my working priorities, my kind of life vision, life mission, um, what I'm here to do, who I am, all these things have um, come up for me during um, during the lockdown. And uh, I have been working in dribs and drabs from home, but it's obviously greatly affected uh, what I was doing. Um, and... Um, yeah, so uh, for clarity, I was... Uh, I run retreats over in Peru uh, for Westerners to come. So obviously that, that is not happening. And apart from that, I just have been working in kind of dribs and drabs with coaching clients online. Um, and it, it has greatly affected uh, my work. Um, yeah, I did have to send several refunds out to people who had already paid us for a retreat, but obviously were not able to make it. Um, but again... In many ways, it has been a blessing in disguise because it has brought about a complete reorganization of priorities, vision, mission, purpose, um, identity, um, reconnecting with roots, and um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to share on the lockdown. Thank you for listening.